One TV special, 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 special report, special report. Having been elected to the position of do hereby take this pledge to obey and implement the Constitution and bylaws of the Central Student Council abide by and adhere to the rules and regulations of the Misamis University and to be loyal to what it stands for. I further pledge to promote the general welfare of the students and the university and forever stand committed to the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. So help me God. Congratulations. Once more, a big round of applause for the Central Student Council Board of Governors School Year 2019-2020. A big round of applause, please. And thank you very much to our inducting officer, Dr. Parent Bellina F. De Leon.
Bots, BMU Kurgal. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, we will witness the third over of the key of responsibility from the outgoing Central Student Council President, Mr. John Mark S. Manguba, to the incoming President, Mr. Louis J. O. Adlao. This key symbolizes great and sacred responsibilities laid on your hands to salute. Responsibilities which require your life as a model as well as a servant. Responsibilities which purely aim to serve for the good of the whole Misamis University studentry. As the outgoing CEC president, I entrust this key to you, Mr. Louis J. Adlao, as the newly elected CEC president. On behalf of the Central Student Council, I wholeheartedly accept this key of responsibility. We are willing to give the best of our abilities and even our lives as good models just to carry on the responsibilities represented by this key. We will religiously serve for the welfare of the Misamis University studentry and not just for our personal interest. This is our pledge to you. And now for his inaugural speech, friends, let us put our hands together for the President of the Central Student Council for school year 2019-2020, Mr. Louis J. O. Adlao of the College of Nursing, Midwifery, and Radiologic Technology. To the University President, Dr. Karen Bellina F. De Leon, members of the Administrative Council, deans and department heads, fellow student leaders, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Leadership is such a big word. It is a word that translates to honor and responsibility. Honor because people saw through you and were able to acknowledge your potentials. It is a responsibility because the word encompasses many things that a leader has to face along the journey. But the question is, how do we become great leaders? The answer to that question solely depends on how you mold yourself as a leader. What I learned as a nursing student is that a great leader is either born or made. Some people are born leaders because their innate capacity to lead and their ability to empower others emanate from them. Others make themselves leaders through determination and perseverance de uh, developing their potentials. Tonight marks our induction to the positions we are elected to. We gather tonight to celebrate empowerment and leadership amongst the student leaders. I have been elected as an officer since my first year in the College of Nursing, Midwifery, and Radiologic Technology, and believe me when I say, it has not been an easy journey. At first, being elected to office is exciting and motivating because of you knew that your colleagues believe in your capacity to leave them. However, as my responsibility started to grow, so did the overwhelming feeling of balancing my academic and student government responsibilities. There were many times I felt like giving up, but I knew that giving up should not be an option. If I did give up, I would not be standing in front of you tonight. I have always believed that the secret ingredient to success is failure. But mind you, failure stands for finish, ambitious, ideal, level-headed, unafraid, receptive, and educated. Finish. As a nursing student, I am able to incorporate leadership, for example, in an ad by nursing procedure. A for assess, D for diagnose, P for planning, I for intervention, and E for evaluation. As leaders, you will go through many things that test your capacity to lead, but if you have faith in your procedure, you will be able to solve it. First, you assess and determine the problem. Gather ideas to solve it. Address concerns and struggles and ask for updates. Second, diagnose your problem by pinpointing the main cause. Third, plan very well the solution to your problem. Fourth, intervene by taking into action your plans. And then lastly, evaluate if there has been a resolution to your problem. Whatever action you have, do not give up on finding a resolution. Believe me, 
But there is always a solution to any problem. Second, ambitious. Always feel the hunger to succeed, success rather, because your eagerness to success is your fuel to reach your destination. It will keep you motivated and will excite you to work even harder. Third is ideal. As a leader, one should set an example of ideal leadership to your subordinates. You must show that you are a strong-willed person, someone who's not, who does not give up amid struggles, and one who can inspire others. Also, show them that you also know how to have fun, you are someone who understands, and you are a leader with a heart. Level-headed. One must stay calm at all times, regardless of the situation you are in. Remind yourself that you should be solid foundation of your counsel and that you are not easily shaken by challenges. Unafraid. A leader must not show restraints and must stand up for his subordinates. You should always remember to fight for the common good. Receptive. A leader must be open to accept ideas and constructive criticism from others because being able to accept your shortcomings will show your strength as a person. And lastly, educated. Know your subordinates. One should be updated about the responsibilities and difficulties of your colleagues and continuously motivate them to become better. As a student leaders, we should not be afraid to fail because this will help us to become stronger once we stand up after our fall. In this journey that we are about to do together, may we find strength to believe in ourselves and the courage to have faith in our council. Surely, all the hard work that we have gone through and those that we are about to do will surely pay off. Being an officer makes you a student leader, and being a student leader is a privilege given only to a selected few. All the worries, hardships, sleepless nights, and stress will not commensurate the fun. Memories, self-development, and empowerment will be receiving during the journey. To my Central Student Council, let us do this work together. Let us leave a legacy we're worth remembering as we continue on with this journey as one family. Let us not give up on each other, and let us learn to find the strength within one another. May all we be reminded of the four core values of the Misamis University. Honesty, loyalty, integrity, and excellence. Let these core values be the pillars of our student leadership journey. As our Misamis University celebrates 90 years of delivering nothing but the best to the community, let us do our part by being responsible and transformative student leaders. Let us enjoy the night and Mabuhay Misamis University. Thank you and good evening. A future outstanding registered nurse has just delivered his inaugural message. Ladies and gentlemen, the newly inducted CSE president, Mr. Louis J. O. Adla. And now for the closing remarks, we have the Central Student Council Vice President of school year 2007-2008 and now the Dean of the College of Business and Management, Mr. Efren J. Barilio. A big round of applause. To our University President, Dr. Karen Bellino F. De Leon, members of the Feliciano family, members of the academy, academic and administrative council, advisors, friends of the Samis University, good evening. To begin with, or shall I say, to end the first part of the program, I would like to express on behalf of the organizing committee of this event, headed by our Sir Joey Cabrera, our sincerest gratitude to all of you here present for sharing your precious time to witness the sanctity of what we call servanthood to our dear members of the Central Student Council and Local Student Council. Likewise, I would like to take this opportunity and on behalf of the organizing committee to thank the entire administration, members of the board and Feliciano family that for how many years you've been present to express your support and guidance. As this induction becomes possible, a new set of officers take new responsibilities for this academic year. 
as member of the Central Student Council and Local Student Council, you are expected to assume responsibilities that your respective positions require you to take. You are also expected to assume responsibilities of being a transformative leader. I know that all of you know that this year's foundation anniversary is the most anticipated part of the year as Misamis University celebrates her 90 years of shared vision, transformative leadership, and inclusive partnership for quality education. All of us really prepared for it, and all of us really exerted a lot of effort for the showcase of talents and wit. All colleges are aiming to be winners, but let us treat this as a friendly competition. Let us not be blinded by the additional points we will get upon winning. Rather, let us focus on ourselves on the real objective of this year's foundation anniversary, which is not about winning, but about integrity, honesty, excellence, and loyalty. Thus, let's focus on the core values of the university that was built for us to live a quality life and that was built to trans trans transform the lives of men. To whoever will emerge as winners, remember this, it is not bad to think high of yourselves and believe in your abilities, but let us not forget the act of humility. Same with our beloved university, started from the humble Kalambugan Academy and now proudly, proudly known as Misamis University, who will live for 90 years and continues to live until eternity. Mabuhay Misamis University. Thank you and God bless. 90 years, a heritage of shared vision. Transform transformative leadership and inclusive partnerships for quality education. Through the years, Misamis University has already produced great leaders. And at this time, let us show our love and loyalty to our beloved institution with the Inno ng Pamantasan. And I give you back. BMU Corral, a big round of applause.
One TV special, 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 special report, special report.